Hello everyone, today is the uh, 20th of December uh, 2018 uh, I want to record some uh, updates uh, since our last update was December, uh, November 21st which is approximately a month from now let me start from here this line which is which is the uh, the line which has the uh, the hay remember each line of these is 11 grow bed 11 grow bed and that one also 11 11 the last one there it's uh, 14 beds since it's the uh, since it's the uh, since we laid them we laid the uh, the grow beds sideways okay here there's the hay that we planted as I said about uh, two months ago, I think we have issues with the with the hay here. Uh, look at this. Hay. There is uh, some, I think, iron deficiency, as you can see here. Um, that's the hay also. Here. Here. This is, I guess they planted the uh, corn. Yeah, this is corn. And that is also corn. Yeah. Yeah. All this is hay. Okay. Let's move on faster. This is a tomato. They planted so many all together. You know, we have to tend them. We need to tend these. And uh, there is a tomato here. Just too much. That is the coriander, the coriander, and that's the dill. dill. Uh, this is empty. No, it has some corn. Just starting. And this is the Asian, the Asian watermelon. I don't know what's the name of it, but. This is it. And that's the zucchini. Here's the zucchini. And um, I don't know by mistake. I think they planted some onion here and under the the leaf of the zucchini. We uh, we chop these. Uh, uh, three days ago to give them to give it uh, to the animals at the zoo because they were too much and they were covering the smaller trees the smaller uh, vegetables so we cut them and uh, they will grow again this is uh, this is beans yeah this is beans and that is a tomato here and that is uh, it's either cabbage I'm I'm not sure it's either cabbage these two one two it's either cabbage or cauliflower because they just look alike and 
look at this giant here but I have to confess we're having some iron deficiency this is zucchini small one that is uh, again I can't tell it's either cabbage or it's, uh, I don't know look at this flowering we need to take the seeds of it we need to take the seeds of this one also that's why we kept them growing and growing this, this is the cucumber the cucumber that's the dill that's a dill so tasty by the way so tasty look at this giant leaf look how big it is nice okay this is coriander coriander Mm, that's dill, that's tomato, that's the tomato, big one here. And we will move the next one here. Uh, I forgot the name of this one in, uh, in English, but I'm sure you all out there know what is this. This is corn, we planted them, planted them a month ago. And they're just fine. Okay. That's uh, some onion here. See the onion? See? That is the onion. The other day I was uh, walking in the farm and I found one of the pomegranates. So I cut one of the branches and I sticked it here, there, and it seems still alive, but it needs some time to grow new roots from that branch. This is also onion, as you can see. That's the duckweed. This grow bed has a duckweed. And the other one, the other one there. Okay. okay. Look at this. Look how big the, the leaves are. But as we can see, iron issues, iron issues. Yeah. These tomatoes are treated one, laboratory treated. So they grow huge tomatoes. One of my friends, those who watched the, the previous video, they will understand that uh, they were giving to me by one of my friends and he said, since you're doing the aquaponic, try them if they work and update me so I will keep updating him on uh, what is the progress of these tomatoes and this one also one of them that one over there and these here for one two three four they were in a very bad situation but all of a sudden they just boom grew up this is also one of them. Treated seeds. Treated seeds. This one also. That one over there. Okay. Look at this here. 
because there is a lot of uh, river rock river rock down there they cannot expand so if they grow up it pushes them up the the, the, the rocks keeps pushing them up so that's why they grow above the surface the one there also Let me go down see the one there but I'm having a lot of issues with the mosquito a lot of issues with the mosquito look at this beautiful tree you know see how big the leaves are they're huge lots of tomato Just massive tomato a lot of tomato together which is not right this is also corn Okay. This is dill. That's the uh, the Asian watermelon. I I don't know what's the name of it. You know, but it's just it it grows big. Let me do this. Let me try to grow. The final the final look. It would be like this about this big about it gets sometimes one foot and a half sometimes two feet big one okay let's move on cucumber but it's not doing well cucumber it's not doing well at all this is the uh, cabbage and that is the uh, uh, zucchini and that is yeah that is cauliflower yeah. this here as you can see sometimes our neighbors uh, they just plant them randomly so when they grow up they look they don't look nice, you know, because they are just random. I sometimes keep telling them, do not plant randomly. You have to, to know what you're planting and why you're planting it and what for, you know, are you going to benefit from it or no? Or are you just playing, just randomly planting anything? Okay. Uh, I think I have to add to the system some uh, some iron, but I'm not sure what type. This is number one, number two. Uh, we have to. Uh, yeah. By the way, by the way, this is a Spanish uh, grape. That's Spanish grape, and it's. Uh, it's doing well as you can see up it's doing well so let me move this yeah this is our final updates I hope those who like and benefited from the video please don't forget this sign Thank you so much and uh, let's see you in another update. Bye for now.